To Milwaukee now tonight, where a young man is fighting for his life after a two alarm house fire near Southeast 38th and Harvey. Neighbors even trying to help save him. Let's switch to our Cole Miller, who's live tonight on this breaking news story. Cole? Well, Jennifer, good evening. From the sounds of it, this fire spread fast and into nearly every corner of the home behind us, where restoration crews are now out here boarding up the exterior. Earlier in the evening, our photographer Matt Rashley was out here. He spoke with a neighbor who says he came outside to a woman screaming for help, saying her son was still trapped inside. Now, this call it came in at around 8:30 or so, quickly being bumped up to that second alarm. Clackamas fire crews fighting heavy smoke and flames when they first got here, wasting little time. They almost immediately ran into the home, finding that young man. Hiding in a bathroom with the door closed behind him. He was brought out, rushed to the hospital. He is in critical condition. We're told a second person was also taken away for minor injuries. It's hard to see that. I mean, you don't want to see anybody ever get hurt, you know, especially your neighbors and people you. I mean, I've, I've been here for 15 years, and these people I grew up along with, and seeing your neighbors be hurt like that, and heart goes out for the family. Yeah, tough scene for these neighbors. Now, David Keish, who you just heard from there, says he tried kicking in the front door of this home after hearing that woman screaming, but tells us that the fire was simply too hot and that those flames were shooting out of the windows as we come back out here live. As I mentioned, that man was found with the door shut behind him. We're told it's very likely that that helped keep this fire from spreading, giving crews, giving firefighters those precious few extra minutes to get to him. Jennifer, the cause of this fire is still under investigation. Live tonight in Milwaukee, Cole Miller. Coin six news. Okay, no, you'll stay on top of that story. Cole, thank you. And